We got a gun. We got a gun. But there's no one there. Someone's pushing the door. Someone's pushing the door. What the heck? Whoa. How the hell did you get those scratches? Did you feel it? No. This definitely was not here the last time we came. This place really, really dig it. Well, you know, actually, as we were telling you guys last night. Oh, my God. So far in the back of the truck. Let me red light you. Whoa, this is creepy. Hey, guys, welcome to another episode of Urban Ghosts. Rob and I are at the witch's house tonight. We're about to go live. Guys, it's behind us in the woods here. And I gotta tell you, this is one of the most haunted places we've <laughs> ever been to. Check out our first video. You can hear somebody talking as we're walking into here. We caught a figure. Omar was here, Patty was here, James was here, Marie was here. Mm -hmm. Marie got thrown. Anyway guys, we're back again. We're, we decided to do a live stream from here tonight because this is really haunted and this is crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna film, Rob's gonna go live and uh, you're coming with us, peace out. All right guys, we are back at the witch's house tonight. And uh, this is probably one of the most haunted places that we've ever been to. Definitely such an ominous feeling, guys. I can't even explain what it feels like to walk up to this place. I mean, for all purpose sake, it's alongside a highway. It shouldn't be that scary, yet it's one of the worst feelings I've had next to the Frank Lloyd Wright house going anywhere. Actually, a video was shot here recently with Patty, Omar, Marie, and James. And uh, Marie was thrown to the ground. And guys, I just felt like something touched my freaking head. Rob, I felt something touch my head. Really? Yeah. Again, something touched my head, bro. There's nothing around me. There's no spider webs hanging over me. Holy God. So if something has bad idea, guys, let me tell you, this place is, yeah, I'm fine. What's really strange about this place is it looks like people have been back here because I don't remember things moved around like they are back here that I could see and this is really freaky man are you live Rob all right hey dude it's actually changed since we've been here a little bit yeah What's crazy about coming back here is seeing this dilapidated house. Now the story is, legend has it that a witch lived here and died in this house and this, this ground is cursed. And you know what? I believe it. I absolutely believe this. As you can see, there's a highway over there. There's a shopping center across the street. And you would think that this place is fine, right? Because of that, this place is not fine. Guys, I'm actually shaking. I feel like this is just a bad idea. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to get back here. crazy is we were here really I mean honestly just like two weeks ago 
and it's so overgrown. It's crazy. And I don't remember this being as bad. place is haunted as hell. Guys, I gotta tell you, the feeling here is horrible. I mean, horrible. I can feel like somebody keeps touching my head. Like, slightly touching my ear, the top of my head. And this place is screwed up. The worst part is I'm back here by myself. We started a live stream and Rob's up front. I'm back here, just me. And I can't wait to listen to this footage that we filmed tonight because every single time we've come here, has been talking in this camera. It's like the magic camera, this one. Literally picks up everything. There's Rob way over there. Pretty sure something happened here bad. And what that is, I have no idea. I just heard something. Hey guys, sorry about the road noise. There's really not much we can do about that. where I felt like something was on my foot. Not to mention how dangerous this is. I mean, this roof is coming down. Look at that. That's held on really by nothing. If this falls on you, you are a goner. Also gotta watch out for snakes and we're in Florida. Gonna be all kinds of snakes back here. Whoa. Alright, I'm gonna stop filming for a while and join the live stream with Rob. Get back to filming. Rob's doing a live stream over there. Wow, this is crazy. It's scary as hell. I can't even believe that I'm in this place. For some reason, I'm very sensitive to things. The crazy thing about it is. Out of any place I've ever been to, besides the Frank Lloyd Wright house, usually I just walk right in. I actually get really frightened here. Like I pick up on something immediately. The story goes with this place too, because we talked to actually this guy who lives in town here who was telling us about this place, and apparently there was a woman that lived in this house. And Rumor has it that she was a local witch and that people went missing here 
and she was kind of a loner, kept to herself. They say she passed in this house, and this was back, I think, in the 1970s, really, if I'm not mistaken. And legend has it that she haunts this place, and I actually believe this one. Especially after what happened to Marie, the voices we picked up in here. This is by far the scariest, scariest place I've ever been to. The crazy thing is you could hear traffic behind us the whole time. I know you can hear that. It's not that far off the road. But for a creepy factor, it might as well be 50 miles in the woods. I'm walking through here. And so Rob and I were doing a little bit of a live stream. Now I'm going to walk around and check this place out. And uh, i got to tell you guys, I'm creeped the hell out here. I just feel like there's somebody here. Like there's something here, and there's no doubt about it. I mean, if you don't believe in ghosts, then believe me when I tell you. There's somebody here living. Because you just know, you know, your, your senses pick these things up. What the freak? I just heard, hey Rob, Rob, I just heard the name Bobby. I'm not kidding, bro. Really? I heard somebody whisper the name Bobby. I can't wait to hear what this camera just picked up. Just now I heard Bobby, like a whisper into this camera, like into my ear, man. Because this place is all kinds of ominous. And Marie got thrown here, so there's definitely some really bad juju back here. And I'm pretty sure that whatever's here. Like somebody was probably killed back here or something. It just has that feeling like we shouldn't be here. Like we should go, run for the hills. Rob, I mean, I kid you not, man, I heard Bobby. Do you feel like something keeps touching you, seriously? Do you feel that? I don't know. I'm actually pretty good at it. it's because you have like all those people with you keeping you safe. Damn, bro. Could be. This place is really jacked up. Yeah, this, I mean, we're still gonna be clouds, man. I don't know about. Hmm? Okay, this is not good back here. Seriously, hearing growls. Yeah. 
Dude, I just stepped in a hole. Okay. There's a hole here. Hole? Yeah, watch where you step. A grave? Yeah, they could be right here. Just be careful, man. Holy crap. That's crazy. Dude, I'm freaking out, man. So dangerous. Like this roof can go down anytime. I know this is right up here. Damn, bro. Do they see anything? Seems like shadows. Yeah. Let's get out of here, bro. This place is seriously haunted, man. I do too. Yeah. Damn, something's coming. So we're out of here, guys. This place is so messed up. And in so, so many ways. Bye, Witch's house. He's out. Watch out for uh, spiders and snakes and bears and tigers and lions. Oh my. All right guys, thanks for joining us again on another adventure to the witch's house in the woods. And I gotta tell you, I'm happy to get out of here because this place freaks me out, man. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Love each and every one of you guys so much. Thanks for joining, peace. It's a cool